In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a business email address with Zoho Mail and how you can use it with your domain name. Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger, helping you build a better website. So after you've watched this video, you'll have a business email address with Zoho and your domain name. And make sure you watch the video to the end so you know all the steps you need to take. And before I dive into the tutorial, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos I release. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the growth of this channel and I really appreciate it. So with that out of the way, let's dive into this tutorial. So Zoho have been around for quite some time now and they have a range of software products from CRMs to customer help desks, um, contact management software, and of course the email software, which is what I'm gonna be talking to you about today. So if you need an email platform where you have your domain name, maybe you've got your domain name with Namecheap, and you need a email address, something like admin at your domain name.com, then Zoho is a really good option to use. If you click on the link in the description below, you'll come to this page and then make sure this business email is, is highlighted and then click on the sign up for free. You'll be able to see a range of email packages they have. Um, so it's really cheap. Um, I'm in the UK, so it's just ATP per month um, and you pay that for the full year. And with that, you get your email hosting and all these extra features that gives you up to five gigabytes of storage. And if you scroll down here, you can sign up for a 15 day free trial. So if you want to do that, you can click on this button here and they also have a um, forever free plan. So if you are just starting out, then this is a really great option because it means that as long as your storage is below five gigabytes and you don't send any attachments bigger than 25 megabytes, then it will always be free. So I'm going to try out the free trial and I'll show you how to set that up right now. So what you need to do is type in your domain name. So if you don't have a domain name already, then I recommend using Namecheap. And I'm just gonna log into my Namecheap account. And you'll see that I've got a few domain names in this account, and I'm gonna use this domain name here in this example. So what you want to do is put your domain name into this field and then click on add and then you just need to create a Zoho account so fill out your details and just in here you want to put the email address that you want to create and um, fill out the rest of these details So then you get, might get this uh, verification code sent to your phone number it's just to verify that you are a real person. So enter the code that you get sent. So when you first create the account and they log you in for the first time, you will be shown this screen. And what you need to do is verify ownership of the domain name that you put in. You can do that by selecting your domain name registrar in this box here. And Namecheap isn't in the list for some reason, so I'm just going to click on Others. And if you have um, one of the other domain name registrars in this list, then you would just choose um, which one you are using, and then it gives you the details at the bottom here. So what you need to do is come over to your Namecheap account, or whichever domain name provider you're using, and you need to manage the domain name. And then I'm going to go to the advanced settings 
And what we need to do is create um, a text record. So to add the text record, you want to click on the add new record and scroll down, select text record, and then put an at symbol in this field and the value, paste the value into here, which is this value just here from Zoho. And then select the TTL to be one minute and then click on the tick to confirm those changes. And now come back over to Zoho and verify by text. And this might take uh, several minutes, uh, depends on how fast the record is updated, uh, but it shouldn't take too long. Um, just give it a few minutes and try again. Okay, so that's gone through for myself. And it's just asking me to verify the email address that I'd like. And I put in hello. So you can change this at this point if you like. Um, I'm going to keep mine at hello at wpconfidence.co. So just click on create account. Um, and then at this point you can add users. Now I'm going to be the only user, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to click skip. And here you can add groups as well. And I'm just going to skip that for now. And then here are some more details that you need to add in your MX records. And basically what we're doing here is enabling Zoho to use the domain name with the hello at and then at the domain name. So what we need to do is we need to copy each of these fields and add those into uh, the mail settings. So if we click on custom MX, the host name for each of them is just the at symbol again, and then the address, they just a slight variant of each other. I'm just gonna copy the first one, and then the priority is 10 for the first one. So I'm gonna put in the at, and then the mail server, I'm gonna paste that in. Priority is 10, and I'm gonna change the TTL to one, and click on save changes. And then we can come back and copy the second one and then add a new record, put in the at, paste that into the value. And then the next one is a priority of 20. And I'm going to save this one as one minute as well and click on the tick. And then those changes will be saved automatically. And once those done, that'll take some time just to save the the MX records over. Um, if you need any help in how to add these records to your domain name registrar, then there's some further instructions down here. And then what you need to do is click on MX Lookup. And this shouldn't take too long, but it might take a few minutes like before to show the records that you've just entered here. Okay, so I'm going to click on the next step. And then here's just a couple more records that we need to add into the DNS. And these are mainly for um, security reasons. It helps with making sure your emails don't go to uh, people's spam box. So these are quite important to do these as well. So like before, it's another text record and it's an SPF. So I'm going to copy this value just here come back over to Namecheap and click on the record here and select text record and then it's an at symbol and then in the value I'm just going to paste in what I've just copied from Zoho and select one minute again and then the tick and it will take you to this page where you can see that it's not enabled. So the DKIM, which stands for Domain Keys Identified Mail, uh, is not currently enabled, so I need to edit that. So what we need to do is create a DKIM selector, and a selector looks like something like this, just here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up a notepad, and I'm just gonna type in uh, general, something like general hello and then after that it needs to display this domain key which goes directly after it and then after that goes the domain name so 
my DKIM selector looks like this. Now I'm going to add the selector in Zoho. And as you can see, the end of the DKIM is just here. And I just need to add my uh, beginning bit that I created just here. So I'm going to paste that in there and save it. And then they give you this uh, text value. And the selector is the text host name. So now we need to add this field to our DNS record. So I needed to come back into my uh, DKIM selector list. And I had a bit of trouble finding this control panel. So if you do need to come back into this option to see if you are verified, then you can use the link below. Um, it's mail.zoho.eu forward slash cpanel forward slash and it will bring you to this dashboard and then you just need to click on email authentication and then DKIM and then I created a new selector just called admin and if I just go into this this is what it looks like and when you add the details into your Namecheap account. You need to make sure that you copy this text where it says the host name. So in this field just here, you need to make sure that you have the word that you add at the beginning and then the dot underscore followed by the domain key text. And then that's it. You don't need to put anything else after that. It will actually tell you here that you need to put in a full stop and then the domain name uh, URL but you don't actually need that. If you put that into Namecheap then it won't actually work. So this is the only piece of text that you need to add to the host name. And then this text just here is all of this text just here so you just copy all of that, paste that into this field and then save those changes. And then it doesn't take too long, it just takes a few minutes and it will be verified. So we go back to the selector list and you can see that mine has verified. And if you come back to the this first screen, it will show that it's now been enabled as well. So in the next step, it's the email migration. And uh, this is if you have switched from a previous email provider with your domain name and you want to migrate the current emails in your client to the new uh, email provider with Zoho Mail. And because I just created this new email account with Zoho and I wasn't using any email beforehand, um, I don't need to make this step. But if you do, there's some details in just here how to do that. And then there's this uh, referred to this documentation here for detailed instructions. Um, but it does it does note just here that you need to migrate the emails after the MX records have updated. So all these records that we've we've added just here, we need to make sure that they are verified with Zoho first before we do this um, uh, migration process. Now I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to click on skip again. And that is basically it. Now we can open up the Zoho Mail app, which is the web version. And they also have the Zoho Mail app for Android and Apple. So when you're on this page, you can click on this little icon up here of your account. And then click on access Zoho Mail. And you can see that the email address is showing just here. And then this is your email app, the web version. And you can go through this uh, quick tour to give you some more details about how it all works and change some settings. And this is your D, the display name and you can add in a signature just here as well. And you can choose a theme, which color you prefer. And then you're all set. And it works very similar to most email clients Similar to Gmail, it obviously looks uh, fairly different, but a very similar concept to most web-based email clients.
Now, if you wanted to come back over to the setup section, uh, just to check if your DKIM has updated, you can do that by coming over to this tab and clicking on this and then just clicking on the verify. Once it's done, you should be able to send and receive emails from your client. So here's an e a different email account I've got, which is with private email. Um, this is a previous tutorial I've gone through, and uh, this is Namecheap's email service. So I'm just going to sign into this, and I'm going to send myself an email just to see if it's gone through. And I'm just going to call it email test, and put in some text just here, and send. So my email has come through, that looks like it's working okay, and now I can just test to see if it replies as well and come back over to Zoho Mail and that email has also come through which is great. So that is it for this video guys. I hope this tutorial has helped and that is how you create a email address, a business email address with your domain name. If you have any questions at all please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer those. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it helped and I will see you in the next one. Cheers guys.